Hello there, y'all all right? Yes, okay, very good. Tab been working out. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, and so I'm eating a lot of fresh raw veggies and fruit um, and decided I was gonna take a uh, chopped salad, right? I was gonna take it to a new level because that's my business and I'm gonna throw it all in a food processor and I wanted to do that with y'all and just show y'all another option and a quick way to make a chopped salad um, and it's just to be tasting better to me, yes? So let's just get into it. Y yes, shall we? Yeah, okay, very good. All right, this is my little food processor. So this is some kale I got. And some of these pieces is a little bigger than like the stem. But listen, them nutrients and the vitamins be up in there. Let's go and throw that in there. I got Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna chop them in half. And we're gonna put that in there. Chop that Brussels sprout on in half, like so, like that. Can y'all see it? Yeah. Good. And then sometimes production be putting too much in here. Okay. Um, if y'all don't know who production is, honey, she worked for me. Okay. And sometimes she be putting too much stuff in the food processor. Um, and we might have to put it in a blender. Okay. Cause we got a small, I don't know why we don't have a big food processor, but that's okay. I think we might have to put this in a blender y'all. Cause I was actually trying to make enough so I can have it for tomorrow too. But so I got my kale in there. I got some Brussels sprouts. I got some red bell pepper. I got a little onion left. But I got my blender right here too because I know how production do. And so I was prepared just in case. Okay. So I'm going to take an onion. Put that on in there too. Like so like that. Little apple. And I think these is like the little pink apples, ain't they? Oh, no. These is regular pink lady. Oh, okay. Some of the um, apples we had earlier had... Um, the pink inside, what you call them? I be calling them pink apples, but you know what I'm talking about. Hold on. Let's, uh, let me tab. You're gonna have to probably put all this, go and put this in. We're gonna use a blender. Don't, don't over blend it though, okay? Cause somebody's trying to put too much stuff in here. So we have to put it on low. Put it all in there like so like that. Okay, let's move that out. Okay. And I got some artichoke hearts. Put some of them up in there. Because we can. And a little bit of the juice because that'll help you uh, uh -oh, have a little moisture on that cake. All right? Like so, like that. And what else did I want to put in here? Oh, a couple of regular mixed greens too. To mix with the kale. Like so, like that. And... Let me see if I got some nuts. Hold on one second. Okay, I had some walnuts. So I'm gonna put some of these. Lord, I'm gonna have to put these in a little container. I done busted the bag open. Put some walnuts, that's some extra protein, like so like that. And I got some white raisins, okay? Or golden raisins as they call them. Um, they just come from the light gray, okay? Put some of those in there, like so like that. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Boom, boom, okay. And then, where my line? Hold on. I got a little bit of lime right here and I thought I had some lemon. That might be in the refrigerator, hold on. I'm gonna put a little bit of this lime juice as well. And so this is like, you know, for your dressing with your apple cider vinegar, you have a little lime juice. And then you put a little bit of olive oil, okay? Put your little garlic in there too if you want to. Little herbs, little garlic powder for some seasoning. Hold on. Ooh, honey. Come on with your lime self, come on. Okay. Use a little bit of this um, olive oil because it already got a little flavor to it. So like that, let me get, what did I tell y'all? Oh, my little garlic powder, hold on. Where you at? I'm gonna use this one actually. I'm gonna use a little bit of the, some onion and herb. Put a little bit of that in there. Go ahead, tell ya. And then a little garlic powder, cause that's my business. Uh-huh. And then we got it all in here and we're gonna blend it. Don't over blend, okay? 
because we got these apples. You, it, you can easily make some doggone applesauce. If this was a food processor, I wouldn't be that concerned, but because it's a blender, we gotta be careful, okay? So let's go on over to the blender and blend it on up. Yes. All right, you can see how it look. I got everything in there. That's the uh, walnuts, the uh, raisins, the mixed greens, and the apples, red peppers, artichoke hearts, kale, onion. It's all in there, all right? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit the power and we're gonna blend very gently. So you see how right here, because this is down below, that blends first. When you see that, stop it, get your little spoon and move it around so that you can break it up so that everything can get blended up together. That's when Sheena come into play. Sheena also said somebody had called her raggedy and um, was like asked about her. And so she wants you to know that um, somebody said you was looking for her, here she go. Bust a move, say something else crazy about her. That's not for me, that's from Sheena. I didn't say that, but now you know. Anywho, so you open this up, okay? Move the stuff around like so, like that, okay? So that everything can get evenly chopped. And now it's pretty much evenly chopped, except for a little bit on top, but I don't mind that. I just don't want to do too much because I don't want it to get mushy, okay? Can y'all see? Mm -hmm. We'll take these big pieces. That's okay. All right, now you got your bowl. And then we're going to go ahead and pour it on in. Okay? Like so, like that. And this is a chopped salad, for sure. Okay? It's so good. Like so, like that. You got might have a couple big pieces of, like, apple is still right there. It's a little bit big. But the majority of it is already chopped up. Very good. And then, if you want to, and you know I am, go put a little avocado on top and a pinch of salt and pepper. Let me go and get that, right? Got my little avocado. I'm gonna go ahead and take it on out like so, like that. And let me slice it up just a little bit so when I put it on top, it'll already be right. There we go. Now I can eat the whole one. But I got another half. But there we are. See that? It's so quick. You just throw everything in your food processor or everything in your blender. You got it ready. Put your little pinch of salt. Or sea salt. Put your little pinch of pepper. Like so, like that. Maybe if you want to eat, uh, put you some Parmesan or whatever you want else on top. You can do that. But that's that. Quest, are you bouncing the ball, bud? Lord G this real life. This real life. Let me, let, let me get a fork and pray. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, I be trying to share stuff with y'all, but this really be happening uh, in real time. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, yes, we do. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then you go in and try it out. And you got everything. You ain't got to put no more dressing because remember, you already put your, your lime juice in there. You already put some apple cider vinegar and a little olive oil and garlic powder. And that's your dressing already in there. Yeah. Mmm. It's so good. And you just eat good. Mm-hmm. So that's it. I just wanted to share another quick way to chop your salad and your veggies with a little bit of fruit all together. I'm going to go and finish this and let him bounce his ball, okay? Excuse me. Mm, it's stuck in my tooth. Forgive me, Lord. Honey, food in my mouth and just a talking. Y'all going about y'all business, okay? Have the most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go mess up nobody else's here. I'll talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Bye. Mm. Come on, child.